Okay, so now we're gonna learn how to operate our washer and dryer. Um, they all operate differently, so they may not work like the one you have at home. But um, what we wanna do is we want to put our dirty laundry in the washer. Um, but what I like to do first before I fill the washer is um, I like to start the washer and get it running, especially with this style. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn this dial and it doesn't matter to which side, so it can either be heavy whites or heavy casuals, it doesn't matter. But I'm gonna turn it, push it in, turn it to heavy and pull out. I'm gonna make sure that over here my load size is set appropriately. Um, I don't have a ton of stuff to wash, so large is fine, but for the most part, you guys should be on super. And this should always be on warm cold because we don't have very good hot water pressure. So if it's hot, cold, the, wa the wash takes forever to fill up. So put it on warm, cold. Um, my load size is gonna be super. And when I'm ready, I'm gonna pull out on this dial. You'll hear the washer start to run. You'll see water going in. In every load goes borax. So we'll have a sprinkle of borax. A little bit of vinegar because it helps with the urine smell. So just a splash. And then laundry detergent. So every laundry detergent is going to be a little different. So you want to make sure you're using laundry detergent that's appropriate for the load size. So inside most laundry cups, they tell you the size. So if you look, there's a one, there's a two, I know it's kind of hard to see, three, four. So obviously, depending on the size of your load, that's gonna show um, how much laundry detergent you need. So it's not necessarily a full cap. So in this one, I want the large size load, which for this one is like about a half a cap. So I've got it filled to the three mark. I'm going to add this in. I like to rinse my cap out underneath the stream. That way it doesn't leak all over the bottle. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm actually going to wash some clean laundry because I don't have a ton of dirty laundry yet, but um, it's not going to matter. But I'm going to add my laundry. I'm going to be sure not to overfill it. So I don't want it above this thing. If it goes above this, it's too full. You can push it down a little bit, but you don't want to mash it. Otherwise, it won't get as clean. And then I'm going to shut the lid and I'll let the lawn laundry go. If I was pulling out, if I'm pulling out wet laundry that needs dried, I would open the dryer, empty out anything that's in the dryer that needs to come out. So we've got some chinchilla bedding. I'm gonna clean out the lint trap. And then any laundry that needed to be dried would go in there. I would add dryer sheets. So I'd put one of these in there. Shut the door. I'm going to turn this to this automatic side. And I'm going to turn it just on the other side. And you'll hear it start because this thing does not work that best. So this is our actually broke. So as soon as you turn the laundry on, it's going to start. So if you need to stop the dryer to check it, if you just open the door, you can stop and check the dryer. Um, the laundry dries faster than the dryer says it dries. So you wanna check it throughout the day. Just stick your hand in. Sometimes like blankets will dry faster so you can pull those out and leave like towels in if they're still wet. And that will help the laundry go a lot faster and we won't be so behind. So um, just try to keep, make sure you keep checking that laundry throughout the day. Um, and then only other thing I wanna note is that you see here, we have laundry baskets. These white ones that say dirty laundry only, they are handles and they are on wheels. So you can wheel them to the kennel or to the cat area to get dirty laundry. And then you can fill them up with laundry when it's dirty. 
This over here is for clean laundry only, and they're labeled clean laundry. So clean laundry goes in colored, dirty laundry goes in white. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. There are also on the wall to start and stop the dryer.